Hello, hope all is well. So today we're gonna to have a quick look at the UAD Ruby software that they released recently. So what we're looking at here is a AC30 amp sim. I thought I'd try out the demo and share my thoughts uh, on the tones that I'm getting out of there, along with the limitations and the things that are maybe lacking depending on what you're after. So first off, I think the interface looks really nice. I mean, you've got this nice kind of purpley velvet style background. You can see the amp and then you have all the controls uh, at your fingertips. However, the amount of controls are quite limited. So this is what we're gonna look at first, as in the limitations of this amp sim. So off the bat, there's no noise gate, for example. You have a room reverb that you can control on this knob, but no controls over the type. You know, it's only a room reverb. You've got three different uh, amp inputs uh, over here. So you've got vibrato trem a normal input, and then a brilliant uh, channel, which is basically like the top boost uh, channel of a Vox. Along with that, we have a boost that's uh, activated with this button here. And then on the right side, we have a selection of cabs, but with uh, default sort of mic setting. So despite the fact that we've got a mic in front, we can't move that around. And so clicking on uh, this side basically cycles through the different cabs that we have our disposal. So in essence, it's uh, different IRs that are bundled along with uh, the amp sim. However, instead of having different names that we can click through, we have this nice kind of graphic and an idea of what mic uh, we have along with what speaker cap. But where UA I think excels are the presets on offer. So it's not a huge amount of presets. You've got certain presets that are DI, i.e. direct output, where you can add your own cap afterwards. And then you have various other presets, uh, which based on their name, really get you into the ballpark of maybe some tones that you're after. Thank you. 
So this is one of the limitations that uh, comes in here. So you only have the room reverb, and uh, it would have been nice to have different types on there, but that's where, you know, having this in your door, you can really open things up and use different plugins depending on what sorts of tones you're after. So adding to this, I can add, say, uh, different delay or reverb plugins on top, and also, say, different modulation and other effects that I want to add before or after the, the amp sim to get different flavors to the tone. <laughs> Now I can't leave this video without mentioning uh, the elephant in the room, which for me is the, the pricing on this. What's really cool is that you can try it for free. There's none of that kind of crazy, you know, or every 30 seconds there's bleeps and silence or whatever. So you get the fully fledged plugin and you can use it as you like for 14 or 15 days completely for free and then decide if you want to buy it. But the pricing on this for me is just really steep, I find. At the moment, it's 50% off, 163 euros, which I think is quite a lot when you look at uh, other sort of offerings on the market. But if and when it goes back up to the new price, which is crossed out here at 327 euros, I mean, we're pretty close to what the, the UA uh, pedals are at, which are around the 400 or just under 400 euros mark. And there we get essentially the plug-in in a hardware box that we can use uh, on the go. And that seems to me like a more appealing uh, offering between the two. Now, the thing is with that in mind, there are other plugins out there that do the AC30 thing. I mean, you can even find some really great NAM profiles out there that you can use. And the plugin, while it might not look as nice as the UAD offering, uh, the actual interfacing will be the same. You might not get presets, but you know you can put together some really nice AC30 style tones, and then you know you'll be putting things together with different IRs and things like that to get a nice tone. <laughs>
So I hope that was useful and gave you some uh, overview of what the plugin has to offer along with some other variants or offerings on the market. I mean, I, I really love how this looks and how it sounds and, and plays as well. Like it, it really responds nicely and the tones I think that you get out of the plugin are really great. However, the pricing, I have a bit of difficulty getting behind that. You know, it's just, it's too expensive I feel for something that for me at least, I won't really use as much, uh, given I have other options that I can use for AC30 tones, such as the FM3 or um, even stuff on Tonex, for example. I think I can get similar ballpark tones and feel for a lot lower price, basically. In any case, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, please drop a like and subscribe as it really helps me out. Thanks.